Hello, everybody, and welcome to Thursday Talks. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with us today. As we just want to encourage you and inspire you to believe uh, that greater days are coming your way and that you can be and do all that God has said that you can do and be. And again, my team, my panel here, Charlotte, Juan, Rob, I'm Michael. It's great to be with you Welcome uh, on Woo! this Thursday talk. So yeah. welcome, guys. Awesome. It's good to be here yes, uh, right together day. just for a few moments. So today, I want to just open up some conversation, just talking about relationships, just really wanting to figure out how do we grow in relationships? Because awesome. I, I think we all agree that when our relationships are good, life just seems to be a little bit better. Right. You know, and Absolutely. if we're having a, a struggle or a, a tough time, a lot of times it's it's from a relationship. That's right. And so I, I want us to learn how to grow and, and navigate through relationships so that we can get better and uh, have quality relationships, kingdom relationships. So today, here's the thought. Here's the thought for you. And again, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like our Facebook page, like our Instagram page, and, and let's let's connect. And yeah. if you can, make some comments today in the chat yeah. today. Just throw out some love, some comments there. We want to hear from you. And uh, share yeah. this, share this, share as well. it, share it. And uh, we're doing this to just kind of create opportunity to grow together because we're all learning. Absolutely, right? we're all growing, man. and this is how we grow: is coming to the table, yes, sir. and talking about it. So here's today's thought. Uh, it has been said. The greatest gift that we can give to somebody else is a healthy version of ourselves. Mm, it's so it's good. the greatest gift. So it's not me saying, man, I just wish you'd get better, Charlotte. <laughs> if you would just be a better wife, <laughs> this marriage would get better. You know, or, or, or what, sure. you know, and it's, it's saying, no, no, I'm going to become my best, yeah. right? And I'm going to grow and yeah. get better mm -hmm. um, because when I get better, everything around me gets better. That's so good. And so, because relationships, man, they can, they can, they can mess us up. Yes, sir. Right? They can hijack. Uh, they can uh, get us off uh, track. And so, Amen. it's important that we learn how to manage through that and become a healthy version. So good. Of you ourselves. know, one of the things that we were talking about uh, earlier, the reality is, especially in married couples, but wh whatever level of relationship you're interacting yeah. in, it's helping each other become the best version of themselves, not expecting someone to be somebody they're not. You know, it's 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 learning, which requires us to become the best version of ourselves. Right. When we're healthy, we can help others get healthy. Yeah. It's just the truth. So let's 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 think about it like this. Um, I'll just put this question uh, on the table. How do you uh, prevent yourself um, from having a victim mentality? Wow. Like, when someone doesn't do what you expected, or maybe even somebody did something wrong to, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, sure. If, uh, whether it was intentional or unintentional, how do you think through in a relationship not uh, having a victim mentality? I think it's important to just put it, I'll, I always try to put it back on me because when I point the finger at somebody else, you know there's some fingers pointing right back at me that's too, right? right? So, that's right. Um, I, I can't always put it on the other person. There's always my part that I have to yeah. own. And so I have to say, what did I do in this relationship? Where did I miss it? What did I not see? And where can I grow? And then bringing that to the table because yeah. in reality, when it comes to relationships, mm -hmm. our, our behaviors and the things that we do are either driving us deeper into connection and driving that connection forward mm -hmm. or it's pulling that connection apart. Wow. And if we can just pay attention in the very beginning to when that connection mm -hmm. starts to disintegrate or when that there's tension and we and we start to pull apart, we focus on what is happening to drive this connection forward or apart, then I think we'll pay attention to it yeah. and we'll say what part do I play? Yeah. Not it's your it's not all anybody's fault ever. It's, right. it, there's all it takes two to tango and so there's there's yep. there's fault on both sides. Mm -hmm. And so it's just really owning my part and being yeah. willing to see where I'm missing it, because yeah. that's hard sometimes to accept when you're missing it. Right. <laughs> it's easier to blame somebody that's else. That's right. Well, you know, the reality, I think that's brilliant. The reality is victims, the reason we become a victim is because we're, we, we've are we got a skewed perspective of the narrative. Mm -hmm. So that relationship yeah. is jacked up because we're only looking at it from one perspective instead yeah. of taking into account all the perspectives that are going on in our life. And so you have to, you have to avoid that. You have to avoid allowing your perspective about the situation that's caused you mm. pain mm -hmm. to keep you from saying, Lord, heal me. I, yeah. I, I own what I did. I own my responsibility mm -hmm. in this. And so that, to me, that's one of the secrets. And that's what powerful people it. do. I yep. heard that said. Mm. said that's what pow powerful people are able to see their own stuff and face their own yep. stuff. Powerless people 
are mm. victims. You so become good. powerless when mm. you're a victim. So you want to be a powerful person, then you need to be able to address your own issues. I love so that good. you said that. It, it, it is an identity mm -hmm. uh, issue in its core because something can happen to me, but that doesn't mean I am that thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can go through a victimizing event, but I'm not a victim. And yeah. it, so it, it's, mm. it's still in the yeah. understanding of your identity in Christ, being mm -hmm. seated with him. God yeah. was not a victim. Mm -hmm. You got to think about it. He laid himself down. Yeah. Yeah. And so that, 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 so when you realize that your identity is rooted in the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, you yeah. can live through a situation, you can live through a circumstance Absolutely. and still not be uh, kind of like the culmination of yeah. the event that you just lived wow. in. No, I'm still a king. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. still a queen. Right. 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 Um, uh, but I disagree with you right there. Right. Or right. I don't right. like how you handle me. Right. right. There. You know, that's that's not. You, you cause me some pain. Yeah, right. You there. cause me some pain because I am a human. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. You know, right. but but I'm not. Woe is me. <laughs> right. Oh, Lord. Why yeah. is he attacking me? Yeah. Pastor Michael. Like, right. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think sometimes so when you good. think about relationship, uh, especially like if you're a pastor or a leader, I think sometimes people don't think that as a pastor or a leader, you can get hurt. Yeah. Mm. You know, it's Come like on, they're man. super spiritual, they're right. super strong, they've got the, the yeah. suit of armor. <laughs> uh, but you know, even as pastors and leaders, right. we, we, we get hurt and we get, you Absolutely. know. And, and so we have to walk ourselves through, uh, for me, I, I, I want to make sure that I'm thinking about not what someone did to me, but coming back to Jesus mm -hmm. and remembering what he did for Come me. Come on. Yes. You know, and so I don't ever want to make the issue uh, that someone did to me bigger yeah. than what he did for That's me. So, yes. so for me, it's like I'm a victor, yes. not, not a, a victim. victim. And Come I'm on. not going to let the devil. No. Write this story. Come this on, narrative. It's that narrative, you know, yes. Uh, that causes anger. Yep. It causes revenge, yeah. frustration. You know, yeah, and then you don't trust people. <laughs> yep. And and so it just it can hijack the relationship. So let's let's think about that. So good. What um, what do you do to give others uh, a healthy version of yourself? Like, mm -hmm. how do you? develop, if you're going to say, oh, well, I want to give this gift to you, whether it's marriage, whether it's friendship, yeah. it's leadership, uh, it's your it's your business owner to your employees, your employee to your business, your boss, you know, how do you uh, develop and grow the healthy yeah, burn, in you? Yeah. Think, what would you say? I'd say first I would do an, a careful evaluation on myself and see where I am in, in all the areas of my life, my, my physical my financial, my relational, all, all the areas of my life and say, I need to grow. Mm -hmm. and, and then I'll read books, I'll read podcasts, I listen to other people, yeah. I get with people who are doing things at a, at a higher level or seem to be having better success in those areas hmm. and listen to what they're saying and, and get good counsel. But then also when, when it comes to giving somebody the healthiest version of yourself, it's understanding what they need from you and making sure expectations are clear. And so when you talk to someone, what is it that you need from mm -hmm. me? How can I serve you better? Like, what is it? What what do I need to, how do I need to show up? Because, you know, like when somebody's phone number shows up on your phone, <laughs> you get a feeling, right? There's a feeling, you know? When, when when he calls me on the phone, it's a good feeling. Yeah. Usually it's a good feeling. And, but when some people call me on the phone, I'm like, I don't know if I want to It's a funky feeling. And I think, what, what, do, what do other people feel when my phone number shows That's up so on their phone? Mm. I want to know what, what feeling do they get? Are they dreading my phone call? Mm. <laughs> Are they like, oh, I can't wait to talk to her because I know she's going to bring something encouraging. Mm. But it's really finding out what do other people need from me That's so and good. being able to love really them the good. way that they need yeah. to be loved. That's good. It's, it, it, we've talked about this so often. It's being self-aware, mm -hmm. right? It's being self-aware. It's aware, okay, I've got weaknesses. And so I need to have people around me that I trust that have the right to speak into my life and say, man, I noticed this about you. You need to work on this because mm -hmm. it's going to turn people off if you're not careful. People are not going to be able to receive the, the brilliance from you mm -hmm. because of that one thing. Yeah. And if I have people like that in my life, then I can I can truly become the better version of myself. But I've got to be self-aware. I can't be intimidated. I can't be insecure. I can't have inferiority. I've got to open myself up and say, talk to me. Yeah. Talk to me, right? I, I think, and fun fact, he's actually <laughs> said these things to me before. <laughs> you're going to mess around, you're going to turn them off. <laughs> right, right. Right. But I think it is that. And But you can't have that with the victim mentality. Mm. One of the main things is... <laughs> This person not attacking me. This right. person wants to improve us. Yes. Yeah. Like, yes. oh my goodness, you can't live in a society where you just cannot be corrected. Come on. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to surround on, yourself with people like, 
you know, mm. hey, I got so you six. Good. You don't see this. Mm. Or even like uh, two episodes ago, we yeah. were talking about your blind, blind spot. The blind spot. Yeah. You gotta yeah. have people that can that can uh, understand your blind spots. Uh, blind spots. But I also watch what I sow, the reap and sow mm. principle, biblical principle. I really do that. I notice that I reap a negative me when mm-hmm. I sow negative thoughts. Mm. Wow. I notice mm, that I reap an unhealthy me when I exude that's or wisdom exhibit, right there, yeah, uh, um, just unhealthy behavior. Mm-hmm. And so I, I watch what I sow, and I used to do that sometimes. I used to, and, and I, I was one of the main people, like you're talking about, is if you were better, this would be better. Mm-hmm. I remember the first two <laughs> years of me and Sarah's marriage were the toughest year. We got a flow now. Praise God, right? <laughs> Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise him. Um, but one of the issues was I felt like people should give me something that I did not sow into them. Mm. And I'll never forget, I listened to the sermon by Miles Monroe. He said, whatever you give a woman, she multiplies. Mm. So if you don't like what she's giving you, check the seed that you're sowing. Come on. Shag me. Oh, men don't want to deal with that. They don't want to deal with that. She needs to change, you know. And the whole time, I need to change. So watch how I do this. Watch how I sow this. Watch how I do. And then you start to, okay, you know, and then you praise. You reap the benefits. Exactly. So I had to work on (laughs) me to give myself a, uh, uh, to give my wife a healthy relationship. That is so good. So you have to become vulnerable and create what we call a feedback culture. Right. And it's this dangerous question. Hey, how can I get better? Yep. You know, it's, it's, we need to do that more often. Yeah, Just ask so that too. question. Our spouses, our children, the people we lead, the people uh, we, you know, like, hey, what can I do to get better? And, you know, you want them to say, nothing. You're amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're my hero. You know, and so, but we need to hear the truth. Yes. Because yeah. we can't get better That's right. without feedback. Anything that can't be touched with feedback can yeah. never improve. Yeah. yeah. So I did that a few years ago with my son. So about probably five or six years ago, I sat down with all three of them. I said, okay, guys, I want y'all to tell me what can I do better as a father to, 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 to impart in your life and help you become it. I did not like what they said, man. I mean, it was painful <laughs> because they were, I can still see the booth at Waffle House we were sitting in, you know, because there was some pain. But I, I'm going to tell you, since then, our relationship has gone to a whole nother level because I let them speak yeah. into my life. That's good. Even though I didn't want to hear it, yeah. uh, it was it was priceless, yeah. valuable. Practice that. It'll change Yeah, and you should things. do that if you have it with your family, yes. uh, any relationship, friendship. But if you have a family, have that conversation. Yeah. And, and uh, you could go around the table so and let good. every person say what's one thing that they like about them. Yeah, limit it to one because we one learned thing. that the hard way. Like, yeah, yeah. let's just do one. We yeah. only get the one. Can't have three. Oh, oh. One thing. Oh. And my children all said the same thing. They said, Dad, uh, I, w- I want you to listen better. Yeah. You know, I want you to listen better. I'm like, what are you talking about? I listen good. No. <laughs> it's, it's saying, okay, all right, I, I hear you, I yes, see that, I and see I want to be my best for you. Yeah, and so, so good, man. Yeah, so those are just some creative ways that maybe you could, maybe in the chat, uh, you know, what are some ways that yeah. you, you know, can get better? And uh, just ask those questions. Make yourself a person that says, I welcome feedback. So good. So let's, let's ask, answer this question. How do you stay inspired? Not to settle or be average. That's so good. What What do you do so that? Because we like to settle. Yeah. I mean, it's it's our natural tendency is to take the path of least resistance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. It's it, it's not, diligence is is painstaking. Mm-hmm. Diligence requires uh, effort. You yeah. know. And so, if we're going to be diligent and be excellent, how how do you yeah. um, not settle? Yeah. Or accept average. Um, for me and my, oh, long life of 27 years. <laughs> You're such a kid. Um, right. Um, <laughs> but wise beyond your years. Yes, oh, he thank is, you. for sure. Um, I focus, I would say this, I've been blessed <laughs> to have such great wisdom over me, majority of my life, um, that they kept me focused on inheritance. Mm. That's what keeps me. Mm inspired to be greater than average when you know that your life believe it or not you you're not just living your life and leaving mm-hmm. you're living your life and handing it to someone else mm. that's the concept and so when i give when 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 it's all said and done and i take my last breath your kids have to walk 
in the brand that you made for yourself mm. or that you partnered with God to make with yourself. Mm. You got to think about it. What would Abraham have been if he had not listened to God to leave the land of his father? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what do you have to hand yeah. over? And so when I really understand that I have to live my life for the generations after me, mm-hmm. I'm not here to just go and do it and go out in a blaze of glory. Right. I'm here to live, live and even deny Say, hey, I don't want to do this. I want to save this. Let's mm-hmm. put this money up. I mean, this is more financial mm-hmm. at this point. But I want to leave inheritance, not just financially, not right. just spiritually, but right. a, a, a good reputation is something. Mm-hmm. A legacy. A, a, a legacy. Yeah. Thing. A good name is better to be had than great riches. That's Proverbs. Solomon so, said. So, and, and, that's, and that's what I focus on. That's when I say, I got to go. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm tired, but yeah. I got to yeah. do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I got to hand something yeah. over. It's yeah. like that yeah. statement we read and talked about today. You're brave. Is somebody else's breakthrough. breakthrough. Yeah, so, so don't good, settle. Man. You know, don't don't shrink back, yeah. but uh, rise up and, yeah. and go in and stretch yourself. So you know, good. don't settle. Yeah. You know, there's, God's got more for you. And uh, realizing, as you said, that yeah. when when I take those steps, my brave is somebody else's. That's so good. Yeah. So you know, one of the things that you've inspired me for years, you you were always very aggressive about being around people who had more than you had accomplished more than you, mm-hmm. you were constantly asking questions. That inspired me mm. because I realized that I can I can choose to be the biggest fish in my little pond mm-hmm. or I can be transplanted out of my little pond, get into a bigger pond yeah. where there are bigger fish yeah. because I'm going to grow to the environment right. that I'm in. Yeah. And so the people so in my life matter. Mm-hmm. One of the reasons we made this decision a year ago to merge is I, the, I knew I don't want to just ride my life out. Mm. I want to do greater things for the yes, kingdom sir. of God. And I think we can do it better together. Yeah, so the people, on. the the inspiration that mm-hmm. comes from people, to me, that's the key to not staying average. So good. It's getting around people yeah. who aren't average. So don't settle. So don't, don't settle. settle. <laughs> Get in the right environment. Okay, yes. we're going to rapid fire here. Yes, okay? We're going to encourage uh, the, the viewers today, okay. uh, wherever you're at. So. Uh, Pastor Rob, yes. I want you to encourage somebody yes. who has been telling themselves the wrong story. Come on. So we all have a narrative of who we are, right? Mm-hmm. We all have a narrative of who we are. We've been, whether it's somebody in our family, in our past, have told us we're nothing, we're failures, we're never going to amount to anything. Yeah. We all allow those words to write a narrative that we begin to believe. Yeah. But here's what you have to do. If you're going to change your story, and, and with something you said today was powerful, that my I can't just live in my experiences past. Mm-hmm. I have to begin to uh, sculpt, uh, uh, sculpt or, or create what I want, the mm-hmm. vision that I want. Mm-hmm. Right. And so I have to begin to remind myself, God has not called me to fail. He's mm-hmm. not called me to quit. He's not called me to give up. He's called me to live this life that's going to be earth shattering, life changing. And I have to begin to paint that narrative. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can rewrite the chapters of my story. Listen, you st- if you still got breath in your lungs, God still has a plan for your life. Life, right, he still has a purpose, and so that's what I want to encourage you yeah. with. Begin today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Begin today to rewrite the story yeah. that you're telling yourself. So good. Yeah. So good. All right, Juan, I want you to encourage somebody who may feel stuck in mediocrity. That feels like you know, I, 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 I just can't move into greatness. I can't be a healthy version. Like, what would you say if I? They just feel stuck. Let me take my glasses off so you know I'm serious. <laughs> Listen, mediocrity and sons of God, it, it can't co It don't work together. That's, that's an oxymoron. <laughs> you are a son, you are a daughter yeah. of the king. Amen. Amen. Your, your portion is not mediocrity. Mm-hmm. Your portion is greatness. Mm-hmm. Your portion is influence. So good. Your, por- your portion is power. Yeah. You got to understand that this is an identity issue. The reason why you may feel stuck is not from a lack of resources. Let me be honest. We, we, we say the scripture wrong. Or oh, uh, your gift make room for you. Here's the thing. Whenever you see lack, whenever you see a a, a deficiency, that space for God to create something Mm. new, that space for you to do something. And what we serve, look look at the shirt, make the impossible possible. We serve the God of the impossible. (laughs) You are a son and daughter of the God of the impossible. You got to think about it. There was nothing before God and then he spoke and then the thing began to live. Light began to come. Uh, 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 Shrubs and shrooms and animals and water began to sprout up. You are 
are that person's Ooh, child. Amen. And so because you are that person's child, you have that person's DNA and it is time for you to walk in that thing. Don't do not do what people told you. Yes. Don't do uh, 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 what people spoke over you, especially if it's not in line with the Bible, Come if on. it's not in line with the vision of heaven, if it's Amen. not in line with Jesus spoke over you, trust me, trust us, trust him first so and foremost, good. and trust Holy Spirit inside of you. Walk in yeah. it. So yes. Good. Shake your Come on, do you so receive good. that? Yeah. Receive that. Put it in the chat if you receive no it. No more media. Put up a, 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 a five, put up some yes. hands. If you receive that word, Amen. just know that you are not created for media. So you good. are created for greatness. Yes. Uh, Pastor Charlotte, I want you to, to just speak to somebody right now who needs to push past the disappointments of their past. Wow. Yeah. Who may feel disqualified. Come on. Maybe they've been let down again and again and they don't even have hope. What yeah. would you say to them? Mm. Well, I would say that your first of all, your potential, what's in front of you is limitless. Mm -hmm. And what's in front of you is so much greater than Come what's behind on. you. I know that it hurts. I know that the past could be very, very painful. Yeah. If you think about the word disappointment, I mean, somebody may have dissed your appointment, but they can't wow. stop your appointment right. because God has appointed That's you right. and he's anointed you so for something good. in the future. Mm -hmm. And you cannot rehearse. Like, there's a tape, you know, that we play over and over sometimes yeah. in our head about yeah. things that have happened to us, what they said, what they yeah. did, what didn't happen for us or what happened to us. We play it over and over in our head, and it just keeps us stuck. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so you're, you're only stuck when you stop moving, right? Yep. So just keep moving keep forward. Moving. Stop looking back. You know, um, Lot's wife, what she she looked back and she turned into a pillar of salt That's and I right. say, you know what, God hasn't called us to be salt. That's right. He's That's called right. us to look forward, That's right. to look at the future, Amen. to look ahead and know that your potential is yeah. limitless. If you will just focus on the Lord, let that stuff go, yeah. forgive, move forward, and God's got something amazing for you in the Amen. future. Mm -hmm. So good. So I think if we want to become the best version of ourselves and a healthy version of ourselves, we have to stay connected to the healer. Yeah. You know, it's so important that you stay in prayer and that you have a life of worship, that you're in the Word and allow God to renew your mind and begin to shape how God sees you. And, and you step into that and you live that and you speak Amen. that Amen. and you believe that regardless of what you see today, just know that you have the authority and the power to create and, and become uh, the person that God says you Amen. already are. Amen. So just come into agreement with that. Amen. In fact, today, I'm just going to close this out, and I want to pray for you. Whether you've been stuck in disappointment, whether you have uh, accepted mediocrity yeah. uh, and you've settled, whether uh, you have, you know, maybe you've gotten to an unhealthy place, we just want to speak and pray over Amen. you right now in the name of Jesus. You, Father, Jesus. I thank you for every person that is watching this right now. It is not by accident, God, that you have appointed this time. And Father, I thank you that you are shaping, that you are creating. Yes. And even when they don't see it, God, you're working. Yes. And even in the pressure, God, even in the pain, Lord, you are bringing forth life out yes. of them. Even in the crushing, even in the trial, even in the fire, God, you are with them. They're yes. not going to whine any longer about what they didn't get. God, they're going to fo focus on what they already yes. got through yes. you on the cross, God that they are forgiven, that they are healed, they are whole, they are blameless, they are loved, that they are yours, God. And we just declare breakthrough in yes, their God. life, in their family, God, that they will fulfill yes. your purpose and their potential in the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare that in the mighty name yes. of Jesus. So Amen. be yeah. whole, yes. be healed. Have the conversations. Be encouraged. Get, get connected. If you're yes. not connected to a local church, yeah. get connected to a yeah. local church. Small you groups. need to be in community. You yes. need to be in a group of people yes. uh, who are growing and committed to becoming the best version of themselves. Amen. We believe God's got greater days yes, we for do. you. So be encouraged. Amen. Stay in faith and believe the best is yet, yet to, come. to come. Amen. So Amen. thank you so much for yes, joining us today. Guys. We hope it encouraged you and blessed you. God bless. Be blessed.